Yeah. All right. I might be able to cut across right here. Okay. That might be a tall step for me. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Homestead Heart. Welcome to Homestead Heart, y'all. There he go. <laughs> well, you all, just wanted to welcome you all to the channel this morning. What we are about to do is just finish getting our garden planted. And uh, we decided that we would just take you all along with us this morning. So, probably won't be a lot of talking, just a lot of working, hoping that it would um, motivate some of you who have not yet started planting and maybe due to different reasons, you might not just be motivated to get out there and do it. <laughs> So we just wanted to take y'all along with us this morning and just give y'all a little bit of motivation. Yes, let's grind y'all. Let's grind it out. We finna, we finna go ahead and set it off. We gonna set it off for y'all this morning. We gonna get some planting done. It's already hot out here and it's still early, but there's some cool temperatures coming. Yeah, yeah, some cool Again, temperatures in sweeping the, through. Yeah, the 1st of May, it's gonna be down in the low 40s, possibly upper 30s here in Georgia. Yeah. In May. <laughs> Not only that, the Thank you Midwest, for the super chats. Yeah, the Midwest is going to be even colder than that. Oh though. my goodness. Y'all finna get some cold weather up yonder ways. And then uh, <laughs> some tornado threats also. Yeah. Y'all just okay. be careful. Watch the weather. Yes. All right? But y'all... We're not going to do much talking like we say. I mean, we're going to be talking to y'all, but not like in the camera I'm talking to y'all. We got to get to work. Pan is, is well, it won't let me because I can't flip the camera around. Okay. My camera is just not like fancy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so so we finna get ready to We're going to get to work. I'm going to yeah. get this camera set up so y'all uh, be patient while I go through all the motion of moving this camera around, trying to get y'all set up so we can get to planting. So I want to say again, good morning to everyone. Welcome to our live gardening motivation video. I don't know how long we're going to let it roll, but we're just going to get to work. Now we're going to tell y'all what we're doing too and how we're planting because I know uh, sometimes some of you um, ask the questions about what process do we use to go through planting our crops. And I say it all the time. It's really easy what we do. It's not complicated what we do at all. We like it simple. Yes, we do. <laughs> we like things simple. <laughs> Keep it simple. <laughs> and, and we have never had a problem. Okay? Yeah. So we're going to take y'all along with us. I can't see all of the um, comments and whatnot. But because I don't have my glasses on. But I do see people commenting. And I do see people coming on in, so like the video, share the video, and let's get to gardening. Yes. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I got to get this camera set up in a way so that the sun is not in everybody's eyes. So I'm probably going to put the camera back here. I don't know, Mr. H. Yeah, put it, put it over there. Right this way? Yeah. That way they can see us real good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So... Don't worry that we're going to be a distance. Y'all, we're going to still talk to y'all. So right now, we're getting ready to put in eggplant, more brassicas, and you know Mr. H, his peppers. Eggplants, too. Eggplant, too. He loves his eggplant. But y'all ought to see all these jalapeno pepper plants we got to put out here today. Because Mr. H <laughs> loves his jalapeno peppers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Just like them pickles. <laughs> but all right, y'all, I'm going to get y'all set up. And again, good morning, y'all. Let's go ahead and get to planting. I'm going to get us set up. So bear with me while the camera goes through the motions. Thanks, Mr. H. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think that's all of them. Oh, one more. Okay. Let's get y'all set up. Get y'all behind the sun with my crooked leg tripod because you know it'd be tripping. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, Mr. H, where you at? I'm right here. I can't see because of the sun. Well, they probably can see. I hope y'all um, can see. I hope y'all can see. Because of the way we got this camera. I'm gonna go get your tablet. That's okay, because I'm gonna be working. Uh oh. Oh, you ain't trying to fall over on me, is you? You're trying to fall over on me. The reason why we're gonna get your tablet so you can see the view. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Y'all can see us, right? I hope so. Wait, oh, all I gotta do is block out the sun. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I could put them right here. It's flatter right here. How about that, babe? Yeah. All right, that works. I just need to modify the the leg here. Bring that down some. Straighten the camera, Straighten the camera up. Okay, now we're cooking with fish grease. That means we hot. That means we hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get to planting. Ain't no music. Oh, I guess I better tell them. So, you all, just to tell you what we're doing, in our ground cover here, now these holes were burned in last year. We love using the ground cover. It has made a tremendous difference for us. And we love using it, okay? So all we do, we do not take the ground cover up off the ground. What Mr. H does is that what he's doing is that he's going through if there are any weeds coming up in the holes of the ground cover, he takes the weeds out and then he makes me a nice big hole where you see he moves the dirt back because all we do is add compost to the hole. We do not compost the entire row. We add the compost where we're planting, okay? And so he's making holes and then we got our favorite, that black cow, that black cow, cow manure. <laughs> We add, <laughs> we add that black cow to the hole. That's our compost or any compost that we may use from our chicken house. But we just add fresh compost. And then I go back and I add in each hole on top of the black cow, I add blood meal, well, feather meal, or you can use the blood meal. But I add feather meal, I add bone meal, I add azomite, and that's it. <laughs> and then we mix all of that up in the hole and then we just make a space and we plant right down in there and that's it and I don't fertilize this no more the entire year okay now the only difference is is that because we don't use a balanced fertilizer for our tomatoes and anything that really flowers we'll add a little bit of potassium to that okay now there are many different ways you can add potassium but we just buy the potassium and again we get it from seven springs farm and i'm going to show y'all that bag it's quite heavy but i'm going to show it to you This is the potassium. It's omrelistic, okay? So that means it can be used in an organic garden. You can see it has zero nitrogen, zero phosphorus, but 52 potassium. How much do I add? Probably like a tablespoon or so to each hole, not a whole lot. But this is excellent for all of your crops that's gonna be flowering, like peppers, um, eggplant, tomatoes, melons, anything that's going to flower, this is going to be great. You don't really have to worry about this so much with the brassicas, but with everything else that flowers, we use it and it's fantastic. Okay. So if you don't buy a balanced fertilizer, like we don't, we just buy blood meal, bone meal and potassium and the azomite. Okay. So y'all, we're going to get busy. Good morning again to everybody. I can't see your comments, but we just want to bring y'all along with us while we do this live garden planting motivation, okay? All right, y'all, see y'all in a bit.
one handful that we have to do with the black guy? I was just filling it up the way you okay. put to, yeah, whatever yeah. space you had, I just was filling it all up. Okay. This is what the feather meal looks like. And it stink. <laughs> but, oh, it stink. But this is what it looked like right here. It's just feather meal, okay? And it is from the feathers of turkeys and chickens and ducks and things like that. But it's just the feathers that they have um, kind of grinded into like a powder. So that's what it looks like, okay? And just in case you're wondering, why don't you mix all of it together? It's personal preference for me. I like to see exactly what I'm putting in the hole. I like to be able to kind of look at it visually and making sure I'm putting exactly what I want of each fertilizer because sometimes you mix it all together. I found that because we use the pelleted um, bone meal, that sometimes that can fall to the bottom. And you might not always get what you want in the hole. So I do it individually to make sure I'm getting exactly what I want inside of the hole for each plant. This is what the bone meal looks like. It's not the powder that you might be used to getting from the big box stores. It comes like this. It's like granules. See that? Yeah. So that's what that looks like, okay? So sometimes because this is heavier than the feather meal, it'll sink to the bottom of whatever container that we mix it up in. So I just keep it all separate. And lastly, just so you can see, this is the azomite. It comes in the green and white bags. You can order it online anywhere. You can get azomite, okay? But this azomite is pelleted as well. It's not the dust. It's not the dust. These are trace minerals. It's not the dust, it's the pellets, okay? So all of this we add in individually. All right, y'all, let's get to planting. Mr. H. You got those right there where it's not those. Yeah, you got to put some white stuff in. Oh, I gotta put some um, bone can't see us all the way over here. <laughs> Miss H say to bring y'all over here. Oh, here we go. Is that better, Miss H? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's bring the family closer. Sorry, y'all. Trying to get y'all close. There we go. How's that, Miss H? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Okay, now. Hopefully, I can see us pretty good. That's why I was gonna bring that tablet out here so you can see. I know, but that's okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, 
I hope y'all can see me. Okay, now. I shouldn't, get, I shouldn't get started now. I don't know if they can see me. They want you. But you can see better than I can. You got on shades. Yeah, they can see you. Awesome. So I'm just mixing up everything in the hole. What's she doing now? She's mixing all the fertilizer and, and everything up. And then yeah. after after we mix that up, and then we're going to put the plants into the ground, and then we're going to top it with black cow, right? Oh, uh, yeah. We might add some on the top. Yeah. Add some black cow on the top of it. Putting down some eggplant. And this row right here is, uh, what is this right here? Right? That's that red cabbage. Yeah. And I'm putting down red cabbage. This is going to be great when we can start harvesting eggplants. I see eggplant parmesan in your future. I do. <laughs> I can feel it now. You can feel the eggplant parmesan it, in your future? I can feel it. I can see eggplant parmesan in your I do break up the roots a little bit just to make sure that they can go ahead and wake up and start spreading out. We're doing two rows of eggplant. Yes, he's going to eat that much. <laughs> yeah. All right, we had brassicas planted here last year as well. That's why we got the hoops right here, but we're taking these hoops out and we got some bigger hoops that we're putting in. Yeah.
some meals. Hey! <laughs> oh my goodness! So we need to go real deep with these? No. Got to put on my knee pad to protect my knees. There was a brick under one of these the other day in the big garden. And I literally just fell to my knees without my knee pads on and hit my knee on that brick. That did not feel good. Last one for this rope. You okay? I'm good. <laughs> All righty. Make that nice and firm. One row of eggplant done. Although we have the drip irrigation, we always come back and um, Mr. H likes to water it in by hand once we first plant it. And that just makes sure that um, it gets soaked pretty good. And then after that, we start using the drip irrigation, okay? So what we're getting ready to do right now is just keep going. Mr. H is over here working. I'm about to move to the row right here. But what I think I'm gonna do is just go ahead and help him and we'll get this row done so that way we can move the camera and you'll still be able to see both of us working, okay? Again, thank you everybody for coming in to this live garden motivation. That's all this is this morning is that we just want to motivate everybody to, as we always say, grow your groceries okay so we're gonna keep going everything's already in all i have to do is mix and plant mix and plant okay you'll pass me that one and you want me to start from down here yeah then we'll meet up okie dokie we're gonna meet in the middle yep we're gonna meet in the middle okay i'll start planting your way you <laughs> start planting mine we meet in the middle. I forgot the other part. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no road too long when we meet Thank in you, the man. middle. <laughs> <laughs> red cabbages, red cabbages. Love these red cabbages. Oh yeah. So 
wrong. Now I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> I'll start planting your way. You start planting mine. We meet in the middle. I don't have a sentence to go on that line. <laughs> we gain a lot of ground. And we both give a little. Ain't no road too long. And we Look at all them worms. You see worms down there? Oh yeah. A lot of babies. Leave y'all right there. have one of your cats. Sure. Thank you, kind sir. You're welcome. All right. How many we got left? Just two? Yes. You need two spaces. I mean, hmm. I don't know. Want to take some over there to the other one? Take these well, over I guess, yeah, that might be a better idea. Yeah, you take some over there. These are all mater. Oh, wait, no. We can sit, we can plant right behind you. Okay, I started making the holes. Because I still have some, I still have some right here too that didn't burn all the way up. Okay, so I'm still making holes. You see the same process? Yeah. This is what's left of my stevia that I planted. A lot of stuff burned up in the greenhouse, but it survived. So I got a lot of stevia planted in the raised bed. Stevia is a natural sweetener and it is a perennial. So it'll come back every single year. So that's what we're planting, okay? And, oh, well, I've already planted the stevia. You can see a lot of my stuff burned up, right? Man. And look. Somebody sent me uh, some of these. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. H bought me these. Mr. H bought me these. And so I just took these and put them down in my little seed starting tray to save on soil mix. But, but, okay, you're moving the camp. To save on the soil mix, so I just used them. And they worked out really, really well, too. Right here, oh, this is more eggplant right here that I'm sure it got stunted because of the heat. But, I don't know, we'll see. This is that, um red acre cabbage that we had on the uh, seed store all of it germinated it did so well but i lost a lot of it when it was put in the greenhouse and it just was so hot and it just burned them all up yeah but good morning to everybody again that i haven't said good morning to so let's go ahead i'm going to continue i might put the rest of the stevia in a pot i don't know but i got a lot of it planted <laughs> so i don't know Okay, so we're going to start right here? Yes. I might have to adjust the camera for this particular row right here. Okay. And then the egg, oh, hold on. Oh, this is 
more Brussels sprouts. Oh, really? Yeah, you want to put those over here too? Sure. So we, 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 we just keep running it. <laughs> good Lord. Well, you gonna, uh, you gonna do pretty good this year. Brussels sprouts. My goodness. Brussels sprouts. Okay. What's this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, I think this is eggplant too. Did you adjust the camera back? Uh, no. I'm going to make sure I can see you. Okay. Marsha, down at Wild Pine 3 Homestead. If you're watching this, if you need any jalapeno peppers, any cabbages, please come and get these things. I don't know what Mr. H was thinking. We can't plant all them peppers. Okay, so now we are right here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that worked. That works. Okay. So we're going to keep going. We're putting the rest of those cabbages right here, right? Yes. And then... I could put this broccoli right here too. Or should we? I thought we was gonna put them over there for the ones that are not looking so good. Yeah, that's yeah. I thought they was over here in the They're in the big garden. Okay, put them in the car. So I'll take these over there too. Then. Yeah. And we'll just put something else here. Right here might be like um, a wait and see. What is this right here? That's more eggplant, which we have a lot of right here. So we got those three. We're going to have those three rows of eggplant then. Yeah. So that means we need to move over there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're going to put over here right now. Okay, so let me just finish. I'm all discombobulated with the garden this year, y'all. I don't know what we're going to put over here. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I forgot something. Um, I feel like I forgot something. I'm pretty sure I did. I have to just check and see. But in any case, we're going to move over and start planting the rest of this eggplant, and we'll figure this part out later. I had our garden all planned out. I really did. I really had it all planned out. I knew exactly what was going to go where and all of that. Now I'm not so sure. So now I'm just planting food. <laughs> just got to make sure we got some food. But in any case, first row of eggplant is done. Now we're going to come down to this row right here. And we're going to get this row planted. Whoops. Yeah, we're gonna get this row planted next. Good morning, y'all.
so good to see everybody man i wish i had my glasses i know i'm right up in y'all face <laughs> okay so all right y'all i hope y'all are getting motivated to plant some groceries to grow your groceries okay mr h yeah. So we already put the, I just got to put fertilizer shit over here? Yes. I don't know what we're planting right there yet. Okay, but I'm pretty sure. It's gonna, I know it's going to be something. It's going to come to I'm, it. It's going it, to, I'm, I'm going to be reminded soon. I just don't know what that's going to be at this moment. What say you? Huh? Huh? What say you? Okay. What are we going to plant there? Right here. Uh, let's see. We got some more seed stores over here. You want me? It's on the table. You want me to go bring them over? Okay. Uh, you want to just plant the eggplant and figure it out later? Yeah. So just keep on rolling. Pretty sure it's going to come to us. Most likely, y'all, when she go over there to those starts, she gonna bring some back and say, okay, I remember what we gonna put on those holes. Here she come, y'all. <laughs> Listen to what she say. Hey, bud. I found something. What did you find, Mrs. H? I found this. I can put my potassium in it. Oh, I thought you found something oh, to put in hole. They can't see us. Our legs are cut off. <laughs> I thought you found something to put in the ground. No. I was looking for something so I don't have to drag that big old heavy bag of potassium around. So, found this. Awesome. That's feather mills. You don't want to put no squash in there. Uh-uh. I got a feeling. Cause you know we got the space over there for the squash when when we harvest the other crops. Then we might be ready to put the squash in to kind of trick the um squash birds in the vine borders. Okay, you use it. Hmm? 
Oh, so I, I, I do it. Yeah. Get all this in. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is much easier than dragging that big old heavy bag around. <laughs> what was I thinking? How much of this stuff are we using? I don't know. It is an organic fertilizer, so it takes it a long time to break down. So that's why I pretty much our crops just about the entire season, because it is a slow type of a release fertilizer because it is organic. It doesn't work right away. So I just kind of grab a handful and drop it in and that's it. It's no real measurement to it because it doesn't burn our crops at all it's not synthetic so it doesn't burn so that's why um, our crops are not hurt by it at all the worst that could happen with adding too much feather meal is that you get a ton of leaf growth but for all of our brassicas and things of that nature that's kind of what we want anyway so that's just how we've been doing it since we've been growing and we've never had a problem with it so we just keep doing it our way that might not work for everybody might not be the best choice for you depending upon the zone that you're in depending on resources even but for us it works here in zone 8a in georgia it works for us and we get lots of food from doing it our way so you have to do what works best for you okay all right so we're gonna get back to it Just double chicken eggplant Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Um, I think those are going over to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's the difference of the water that this one, I think, from this one. This is the same channel. So I'm going to start from this end. Okay. And we're going to meet in the middle. <laughs> Black cow? No, I think you did that already, right? Oh, okay, you gonna put black cow on the top? Or you just don't need it? I'll probably just need it. Okay. Save yeah, just to save. To save that black gold. Georgia tea. My knee pads don't want to cooperate. <laughs> they slide down. They I keep sliding to. down. Giving this a mix around. Trying to find another shady spot, but if 
you want to plant these in containers, you can do this the same way. If I was planting these in containers, this is exactly what I would do. The same thing. All right, bud. Oh, Oh, they laying some eggs now. They on their job now. That's make butter shady spot, right? You make butter shady spot? Yeah. If he would just stay put. You know what? How many you got left? Four? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. So your four, you can finish those out here. Since it's, okay. a, it's a different variety than these. Okay. So that means we got these. So that means we're about to have a third row of eggplant. It's great. That's great, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so. Woo. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be a vegetarian. You are? Yeah, you got these eggplants. You sure is. And stuff. I'm going to have to have me some casserole. Oh, look. We still got these right here too, so we are definitely gonna have a third row. Okay. Because we still got these. Okay. Y'all see what happens when Mr. H going by starts? We end up with a ton of stuff. Like what are we gonna do with all this stuff, right? We end up with a lot of stuff. Can he hear me talking to him? About him. Mr. H, can you hear me? Mr. H, can you hear me? He can't hear me. This is what happened when Mr. H go and buy stuff. He buy a ton of stuff. And then I got, we got to plan all this stuff. Okay, I'm back. Okay, what did you just I say? wasn't talking about you though. <laughs> I heard some, some, some. I wasn't talking about you though. I heard some mama. No, no, you didn't hear nothing. <laughs> Super sub. No, no, don't, don't say, don't say anything. <laughs> Super sub. Did y'all, did y'all hear, hear any murmuring from don't her? Don't say nothing. What, was she murmuring? I, I thought I heard some murmuring. No, no, there was nothing going on. <laughs> there was nothing going on. I'm gonna find out. There's nothing going on. I promise. Even if, excuse me, you have to tell me. Excuse me, and she have to tell me. What you saying? She didn't hear nothing. Right, okay. We'll find out. There was no conversation going on. Okay. <laughs> there 
there was no conversation being had. Okay, now we're gonna start on this roll right here. Never know what we can use them for in the future. I think we probably cut them too short to for the rope covers, maybe. Yeah, we probably could use them over there for the. Well, we did get the new ones um, back from uh, from Grower Solutions. We did get those uh, a few months back. Yeah. We'll put these to the side. move all this dirt out the way it has compost in it but like I said we add fresh compost every planting season so I leave that dirt in and all I'm gonna do is make like a well pull it all back and just make a big big hole a nice big hole a nice big deep hole here worms more worms and mr. H will come back and he will put in some of the black cow compost into the hole that I've made. So I didn't take the soil out. I just moved it out of the way. Well, I don't need a shovel. What I do, I just I just put my hands in here and just dig in. Mrs. H don't like this technique. She think it's barbaric, but... I do not! Oh, so you don't? No. Okay. I just have to check you. But my fingertips are not that strong. Okay. So I have to use a shovel. Yeah. She has librarian uh, fingertips, y'all librarian fingertips. Really? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, look, looks like a librarian to me. Yeah. No, I do not. Yeah. Librarian fingertips. What if it's a librarian watching? Explain <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Explain yourself. some roots up under here. Oh, oh you not already done those two? Yeah. I guess I'll move on down. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all, my fingertips ain't cut out for it. My fingertips ain't cut out for this.
gold. That's called black gold. Okay, and I'll follow behind you. Okay. Wow, we can roll with this black gold. Yep. Okay. So we don't try and stop. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Well, I can start from that end since the camera's down there. Okay. Yeah. What are y'all planting? What are y'all planting? Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. Wrap these eggplants up, y'all. Just trying to make sure everybody can see. Yeah, I heard Shirley say that. Let go. I'm going to follow behind him with the fertilizer What when he adds in that compost. Doing bend and reach? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this stuff here get to your back, y'all. Just get to your back.
you all get these from the nursery, do not throw these away. These things are excellent when it comes to seed starts. I mean, you just wash them out real good, clean them up, put them up, and you can start your starts in them next year. This is one of those ways to get free seed starting trays, right? So hold on to these. I don't think I would like that very much. No, I'm probably just frozen. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to do that. Really? You can saute it or have any food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because when it's freezing, it's not going to get hard. Well, no, I hope not. I'm saying it won't preserve. Don't eat it, don't eat it. 
That's another one planted. That's another row of eggplant planted. Now I'll tell y'all this. What we're doing is planting more of the things that we enjoy eating, right? And a lot less of the things that we can do without. Even though we like them, we're not planting them. I didn't plant any radishes this year, okay? Even though we like them, and do you remember last year and the year before, I planted the China Rose Radish, and I only planted them. Now they taste good, but I planted the China Rose because of how big they get, and they bring in tons and tons of pollinators, and they were excellent for our bees. Our bees absolutely loved them. They brought in, I'm telling you, we had butterflies and bees just for days all through the China Rose Radish, right? some of the most beautiful flowers. And so this year I didn't plant them, although I might because it's not like it's too late for me to do it. So, and even if they bolt and go to seed really quickly, that's still fine because my whole purpose would be just for the pollinators anyway. And if I wanted to plant some to eat, then I could just put them in the raised bed in a shady spot and they would still grow just fine, which is probably what I'll do with just a few of the French breakfast radish, just to pickle those so that we can have those for our salads all year long. But we didn't plant a ton of radishes like I normally would have done. No. So we're planting more of what we love. We're planting more tomatoes, more brassicas. We're planting more and more of... Um, the okra we got a new okra to try from one of our viewers sent it to us and we're excited to start those seeds but not yet because we're still expecting temperatures down in the low 40s so we haven't even started beans yet we're having to go by the weather not by the average last frost date okay so you all um, we're planting more of what we love. Mr. H loves his peppers. You know that. You know he loves his cucumbers, right? Or his pickles. So we always do that. The burgerkins, the West India burgerkin that we buy from Baker Creek, that is an amazing, although it's a delicious little cucumber, you all, we harvest it, we freeze it because it is excellent when you saute them. They are so good cooked so thank you so much for the super chat i can't see who did it but thank you so much i just saw the green go across the screen so thank you so so very very much okay all right y'all i'm sorry i hope we got moderators in to answer the questions that are being posted our moderators really do a good job of um answering questions uh, for us because they really know our channel, right? Because they've been following us for a long time so they can really answer a lot of your questions. But um, anyway, you all, we are planting more and more of what we love, right? Now, <laughs> my daughter and her husband loves the Thai chilies, right? But we planted like multiple plants that was way too many so we bought one Thai chili plant because the starts that we have they were stunted because they got put in that hot greenhouse and they just burned and so we we do have a few that are uh that survived but they just don't look good so we didn't take a chance we just bought one so we purchased a Thai chili pepper plant one is all you need because that one produces hundreds of peppers so we don't need any more than that <laughs> 
for them because even when they freeze them, whatever, it's still a ton of peppers. And I don't eat them. Stacia don't eat them. Those are really spicy. So, you all, we're planning more of what we love to eat. Things that I can put up, preserve, make a meal from. And um, that would be best for us because of the, the time that we're in. We're trying to focus on more of what we want and not so much as what would be exciting to try right although we are doing some of that we are doing some of that but planning more of what we know we love to eat okay so i'm gonna get back to helping mr h um get the rest of our eggplant in this is gonna be row four of eggplant out here today and then we have um peppers that we're about to get in the bell peppers, you all, I put two 50-foot rows of bell pepper in our Big Mama's garden. The reason why is because one 50-foot row, I don't care how many we harvest, we use fresh and we freeze. It is not enough. We use a lot of fresh vegetables when we're cooking. Bell pepper, onion, all of that. We use a lot of it when we're cooking, right? So, there just wasn't enough. So, now I got two. 50 foot rows and so that would be plenty for us to have for us to share with our uh, family and um, our neighbors and, and whatnot so that'll be plenty well not neighbors because a lot of our neighbors grow their own food yeah they do this too you know but there are some that don't so the ones that we know we share a little bit with them too but anyway you all I'm gonna get back to helping It's something I'm forgetting to plant, and I don't know what that is. I just don't know what it is right now. Or something that I'm forgetting to save space for, and I just don't know what it is. So I hope I don't figure it out after I planted the whole garden and be like, oh man, I ain't got nowhere to plant X, Y, Z. We'll see. I'm gonna get back to work. Did I lose my How come my knee pads ain't working right?
Yeah, that was one of those little babies. I was covering down for you. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I can salvage. Okay. I think I may be able to salvage enough for this. Okay. We shall see. They don't look the best. They don't look the best, but um I'm gonna hang on to them and get them planted. And let's see what happens. Some of them got three in it, babe. I know we're gonna have to pinch the smallest ones off, pinch them off at the base, and that way um, we'll keep the strongest. Okay, so there's two in there, just to pinch the smaller one off? Yeah. Do you have enough of them? Um, how many you have? I have four. Yeah, we got enough. Actually, we got just enough. I put a lot of seeds in this one. This one got five five plants in it. No wonder they grow like that. Uh uh. Not at all. Yeah, I'm just going to save the strongest looking of them all. <clears throat> I hate doing this, though. Yeah, me too. So, but. I got three here. I, I don't want to do it. But yeah. You want me to do it? Yes, sir, we got to. Or else we won't get any eggplant. Oh. I pull them up. I'm getting roots. No, don't pull. Pinch. Don't pull. Okay. Pinch. Okay. Pinch. Okay. No, 
Yes, sir. Just over the top of the chair. I hate pinching off seedlings, y'all. But you got to because you can't have two, three, four, five plants in one space. Only one. So I had to get rid of all but one. The reason why you have to get all of one because you don't want them draining all the getting all the nutrients, right? Yeah, they'll be overcrowded and they just will fight for that. And they won't, none of them will do well then. For new gardeners wondering about the peat pellets, they're very easy to grow in. You just drop a seed in there. And we put it in the cell tray and watered it. And that's it. Put it under some lights. Let them grow. I like to open the bottom up a little bit. Man, I wish I could see what y'all was saying. But anyway, <laughs> I ain't trying. <laughs> but anyway, you got to pinch them off, you all. See, I had three in here, I think. There, it's three, yeah. So you got to pinch them off because you don't want them competing for the uh, nutrients that's in the soil. And you certainly don't want them to overcrowd one another because then you just won't get nothing with all these plants growing in one single space. So it's best to put one plant per space because eggplant, they do get pretty tall and they get pretty large depending on the variety. And we have the Florida Market, um, the Black Beauty, and uh, I forgot what that other one is called. But um, we got that from one of our, the other one we got from one of our local nurseries. And I never heard of it before. But I'm excited to try it and taste it. Now one thing I don't like when, as far as the eggplant goes, I don't like the long purple eggplant. That's just too much work for those little old bitty skinny eggplant. <laughs> the amount that it takes me to do an eggplant farm from one of those little slender eggplants, I can grab one big black beauty or one big Florida market and cut it up and I'm done. <laughs> so I realize I don't like the little skinny eggplant. <laughs> I need something bigger. <laughs>
got one extra. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I don't. Way out. Hey, you see? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. <laughs> All right, okay. that's it for this. My poor stuff. Look at this one little cat that's just trying to hang on. Poor dear, she was trying to hang on. All right. So now, peppers. You still gonna leave that bacon, right? Yeah, because I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be planting there, and I know. That once I plant it out, I'll be like, oh my goodness, that's what I was supposed to plant there. Yeah. So I'm going to wait. And those two on the end, I'm going to wait too. Because I knew I had something spectacular that I wanted to put on that end down there. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to go down here with the peppers? Yeah. Come on, y'all. Okay, Let's so go down here with the peppers. So hmm? we're going to skip this one right here. Stir, yes, stir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unless you want to start. Well, no. Um, yeah, let's skip this one. Since we already got the T post in the ground, we may have to put some backup tomatoes right there. Sorry, y'all. So we're going to come down here now. What? I didn't come down here to be playing with y'all. I'm busy. Whoops. Sorry, y'all. Hold up. Keep forgetting which way the camera turned. All right, Miss H. Whoa. Pepper. And what's next? These are all jalapenos, but this is not all of them. There's more over there. This one, Mr. H did. He was by himself. I wasn't with him. Shh. So, <laughs> you all, we fixing to plant some peppers, right? Dad? Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm ready. We fit to plant some peppers. <laughs> Okay, so all of these are jalapeno peppers here. And I got some more right there. This is 18 pepper plants all by itself. Okay, so we're gonna, I know these rows right here are gonna definitely take up those jalapenos all by they set. Yep. So. Oh, now let me tell y'all this too. Let me just to camp talk to y'all for a quick second. Tell y'all something. Backup plans, right? Because we didn't anticipate a storm coming through, distracting us from our starts. And we didn't anticipate that they would be put in the greenhouse and they would be boinked up. And by the time that happened, it's too late to restart tomatoes it's too late to restart pepper seeds because of how long it takes for them to grow. So, I want you all to understand, if you have to go and get, buy starts, 
There is nothing wrong with doing that, okay? It's always good because you're able to support your local nursery. So there's nothing wrong with buying your starts if that's what you have to do. The most important thing is that you grow your own food, right? I mean, the, um, babe, how much was this six pack? Like $2 and something? Yes. So it was like $2 and something for this whole six pack, right? When you support your local growers and, and they bring starts to the farmer's market, you can really get a good deal. Or when you just purchase directly from the nursery that actually brings those things in from your local growers, you can get a good deal. So there, I think Mr. H got like 25 cabbages for what, babe? How much 90, was that? Um, it was only 99 cents. 99 cents for a bundle of 25 cabbage plants. You heard me? So it helps to support your local growers, you all. It really does help, all right? Because that's a lot of food Yeah. for 99 cents. Yeah, because they didn't want them to go bad. They didn't want them to go bad, so they sold them at a very, very inexpensive price, okay? And wasn't nothing wrong with them. Ain't nothing wrong with them. So that's that's how you can get your starts at a good price if things don't work out when you plant your seeds don't feel bad and don't certainly certainly <laughs> don't think it's over i can't grow nothing now yeah. right because i was really in that headspace because i'm like oh my goodness we got all this stuff we're trying to deal with and my starts and burnt up oh and miss age was like don't worry i got this <laughs> and that's how we ended up with all these pepper plants so yeah. <laughs> so you all <laughs> Miss H took care of everything and he got everything that burned up that we lost right so we're gonna put uh, these pepper plants in this garden this is the smallest garden that we have okay these are all like 25 foot rows right here so these, this is the smallest garden that we have. And so we're putting the peppers over here this time. Okay. So yeah, we're going to get busy. We're going to reset this camera y'all because of the way the sun is positioning. I don't want the camera to be like in a not so good spot for you all. Okay. So babe, which way should um, I put the, well, maybe right here. Yeah, or, put it, yeah, yeah, put it over there. Bro. Okay. So that way you are, well, how about right here? Would that work too? Yeah. That'll be closer. Sun, yeah, yeah, put it over there. Okay. Yeah, okay. The sun is coming in there. It's coming, it's fixing to be right here. So if we put the camera here, it won't be in their eyes. Yeah. So I'm going to move the camera, you all, so you all won't be blinded by the sun. Thank y'all for like just being with us while we plant our garden. We really just want to, um, motivate everybody to grow their groceries that's all we want to do we just want to motivate everybody to grow their own groceries that's it and we're showing you just how simple it really is right it's not overly complicated you just got to get them in the ground make sure you give them something to eat right make sure you give them something to eat because they like to eat too <laughs> Give them something to eat and give them something to drink. They just like us. They just like us. They like food and they like water, right? So just give them something to eat. Give them something to drink. Protect them from things that could harm them, just like us, right? Protect them from the bugs and all of that. They will be fine. And I'm going to say it again and again and again. Do your best to avoid synthetic fer fertilizers. I'm not a fan of miracle Grow. I don't use that stuff. Never have, never will. Not only is it horrible for your crops, it's horrible for your body, and it's horrible for the environment. So do your best to stay away from synthetics. Use organic fertilizers. I know it take a while for them to break down, but that's okay. We ain't in no rush. We got all summer to grow this stuff. <laughs> yeah. So y'all, we're gonna get to planting, okay? Playing all these peppers. Play now, my baby peppers. You love yeah. these peppers. Yes, these I peppers do. plant. Oh, yes, yeah. indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you want me to come behind?
jump. Thanks. Which way are we we're going this way, right? Huh? We're going this way with the peppers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, it probably would have been better if I moved Tamu at night over here to scare the rabbits away. I don't know. I don't know. But they really show up, won't they? They will. Because remember last year they was biting holes out of our melons and our kushaw. We had, they ate a lot. Actually, they bit holes in all of our kushaw with the exception of the one we sent to mom and the one that we kept. Yeah. All the rest of them was just ate out of. Yeah, so you think the cats have... I don't know. And they didn't even eat the whole thing. They just took a bite and kept going. Yeah, maybe the cats can keep them. They could have ate the whole thing, is all I'm saying. Yeah. Waste some food. Probably need to, in the, in the evening time, put some food for the cat. <laughs> over here? Yeah. They had them to kind of hang out over here some mm -hmm. kind of way. Y'all mm -hmm. feeding them over this way. I go get it. No, you don't have Some to of this blue shovel? No, um, maybe my little measuring thing, but that's okay. I'll just use what I got. Okay. He's like, I want to be a part of it. Yeah. <laughs>
you do the black cow on this side and I'll come back, okay? Okay. I'm gonna start planting right here. Planting all these peppers. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start planting all these peppers, babe. All your jalapenos, I'm gonna start planting them all, okay? Jalapeno bomber? Yep, I'm gonna start planting every last one of them, okay? All three, four, five containers, I'm gonna start planting all of them. That's good. All of them. That's great. All of them. Marsha, come get some of these peppers. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to come get some. Hey, I know our neighbors are growing some peppers. I think some of his died. I could take them some too. Okay. I'll eat peppers. Hold your knee like this. Put it back on. Go ahead, try it. They crooked. Okay. 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 Like that? Yeah. Like that? There you go. It's not going to cut off my circulation? Mm-mm. Okay. It's better? I hope so. I'll know in a minute. It's getting hot out here. I'm glad we put the, the girls over there. Yeah, yeah, them thugs too rough over there.
I didn't put potassium over here. Okay, let me finish this. This way down there. I'll go get it. I forgot. We have to keep the turkeys put up because we let the turkeys out right now. They will literally, literally be walking over everything that we have planted because they like to be right up under our chin. So we have to keep them put away in their pen until we finish planting. They follow us everywhere. So once we finish, we'll let them out. The turkeys don't bother our garden. They don't eat up our food or peck at the leaves or any of that. We only have that problem with the chickens, which is why they are not free ranging when we plant the garden out. But any other time of the year, we don't mind let, letting the chickens out to kind of walk all over the property and do what they do. We give them that chance to really enjoy the fresh grass and all of that. But once the garden is planted, they stay right where they stay. <laughs> I got to add the potassium. I forgot to add it. So I'm just going to Add it around the top and just mix it into the top layer of the soil. I wonder if they planting with us. Ask them if they planting with us. Are they planting with us? Hope they gardening with Just wanted to know, are y'all planting with us? Are y'all gardening with us? If not, then maybe next weekend y'all can get all y'all supplies. Yeah. And join us. You know, we can work together. That'd be that's a great idea, right? Grow your own groceries, y'all. That's what we need to do. And when it comes down to like when we feel like success is at the door, we're going to give that yes, yes, y'all. We're going to do that. <laughs> That's what the yes, 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 y'all is for. So grow your own groceries. We're going to move out as a team next weekend. We're going to do it right. So this is just like a preview of what we're going to do next weekend. So get your 
fertilizers, get your starts, get the uh, weeds up out of the ground, um, get your, you know, like uh, your watering uh, hand buckets. If you're just starting, water holes, and start along with us, y'all. So we're going to keep on rolling. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. Like this, it's like that, it's like what? Yeah, you, you got it. It's like, like this, it's like, like that, it's like, like this, you know. <laughs> yep, you got it. Yep. Woo! So I can get a tray of that? Yep. Which one I could grab? This one? Well, hang in there. We have two of them over here. I sure hate to get rid of one of them. Huh? Do we need another? Oh no! You know I can put that in a container. This one? Mm hmm Okay. But you might want to leave it in the tray though. Okay. Yeah, put that one in the container. Because I did want to put some in containers to try to overwinter, so. Okay, yeah. Yeah, do that one. Okay. 
Oh, they can't even see you. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Growing our groceries. Hot in this hot sun. Who <laughs> is hot out here? But that's okay. That's okay. Once we plant it, it's planted. So, yeah, y'all can see us. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just got uh, one more row of peppers to plant, and that's gonna be three rows of peppers. We got two full rows of jalapenos, right? The other other jalapenos we're gonna share with um, our neighbors, okay? Because we do got a lot of jalapeno peppers, right? So what we're going to do is um, this row right here, I had some lemon spice jalapenos left over and um, I hope they do well. I got some lemon spice, lemon drop, um, giant Marconis, um, what am I missing, the Thai chilies, and that's all. So I think we'll we'll do this row with those different varieties of peppers right there. But it's so good to see everybody in here. We are all in here just trying to give each other some encouragement and some motivation to get to planting, get to growing, getting your supplies together for when you can plant. Because I know some of you are still in uh, zones where the weather is still for a reason cold, but that's okay. You had an opportunity to go ahead and gather all of your supplies so that you can get crops in the ground as soon as the weather permits. All right. So, okay. So we're gonna go now. Mr. H is almost done with this row. You need one more right here, don't you? Yeah, I do. Um, I thought I had one. No. We may right there on the other side of you, is it? No. Okay, we'll have to use that one then. I won't be able to overwinter that one then. Okay. So we'll just have to use that one. So we're getting ready to start on this row right here. So. All right, y'all. Man, if I could see y'all coming. I might have to run and get my glasses. That's what I might have to run and go do. So I can read y'all coming. But I'm going to start getting the plants laid out for this one, this row right here. And that's going to give us three rows of spicy, spicy peppers. I did bring that tray over here. See how my little peppers got stunted? The goji berries died all together. I got one little goji berry right here that's trying to come up from a, a seed that probably was late starting. But all the rest of my goji berries died. And look at the rest of my little peppers, how stunted they are. They're not doing nothing. But you know what? I don't have nothing to lose from trying to put them in the ground. So I'm going to try and see what happens to them. I don't know, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> you gonna put, go ahead and put it I'm in gonna there. I'm gonna try, yeah, I'm gonna try. Might as well. It's Worcester. Might as well put it on in there. I don't know what's gonna happen to them, but I'm gonna try. They ain't looking too good, but I'm gonna try. 
Oh, let, let me let this Jimmy out here. He's getting his butt kicked. Camera can see me? Yep. For even right here? I hope so. You're gonna need this, uh, you're gonna need some more black cow too. This is all we got. Okay. Make sure the camera can adjust the camera. It can see you, what? No? Y'all can't see Mr. H? No, y'all can't see Mr. H. There's a camera right here. And he was right here. He said to make sure that y'all could see. So I have to make sure y'all could see. Okay, let's see where we at. Okay, so so far, y'all have seen us plant eggplant. You've seen us plant cabbages, right? Yeah, and now we're on peppers. We got enough black cow? Yeah. What is this? And I talked about the stevia that we planted in the raised bed. I don't know if y'all can see this raised bed, right? No, y'all can't see it. Let me show y'all real quick. With the pretty purple flowers right there by Mr. H. Right there. That's all sage that has gone to seed. But you all, we have tons of new sage coming up. You know, sage is a perennial. So we don't have to do anything to that. It come back every single year. So it's reseeding right now. It's gonna keep dropping those seeds in the raised bed. That raised bed gonna keep on growing. You can grow sage in containers as well. A lot of your perennial herbs can grow in containers, especially those that are considered to be very invasive, like everything from your mint family, okay? So all of those things can be grown. Now I'm planting out that sweet wormwood as well oh my goodness i'm so excited about sweet wormwood if you're not familiar with it look it up look up all the benefits of sweet wormwood and then um the uh lemon balm is doing excellent the thyme is doing excellent it is everywhere it receded it's doing every doing very well my spearmint peppermint and sweet mint they're all doing wonderful pineapple sage over here it's on its way back as well. So all of these perennial herbs are doing awesome. And now this year we're adding stevia, sweet wormwood to the mix, okay? So Mr. H is back. I'm back, y'all. So now we're gonna get to planting with Mr. H now. He can get him some more black gold. Yep. That black cow, cow manure. Black cow. <laughs> you want me to dump this one, what's left? Yes. Not a lot. But 
I dump it in there. Doing compost this way, in our little humble opinion, very inexpensive way to add compost to your garden without having to add compost to the entire garden area, including places where you're not even planting, uh, planting at. To us, this is more cost effective because we can put the compost right where we want it. And so, let me see. I think, what babe, about five bags does this area right here? Yeah, that, yeah. Five bags yeah. will do this entire garden. And that's all we need, right? It's already already broken down and it's some good stuff, okay? So this is all we need. If your garden is not this big, you surely don't need this much, right? But this is a very cost-effective way for us to quickly add compost to where we're planting at without breaking the bank. So yeah, plus you don't have to go out and buy this stuff all at once either. You can just go pick up a bag here and there until you're ready to start planting. That's what we do. We go and look, baby, go in and grab a couple of bags of black cow <laughs> and bring them home. And we just stack them up over there by the greenhouse as we get them in. And that way we don't have to worry about trying to get all of that at one time. And we certainly don't have to worry about them selling out of our favorite purchased compost. All right, let me get the egg. we are on bag number three and we're just about done planting this whole garden we only have five rows left to do and mr h just oh it's about to open bag number three so five bags is more than enough for this area probably four bags would be fine Maybe yeah. this is bag number four. That'd be bag number four. Okay. Because we had used a lot out of that other bag already. Yeah. It was already open from the other garden. Yeah, but it wasn't that much. Either. It wasn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm having to start down here. I've 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I need right there. I know I need this. Did you put some of this in there? I don't know. I think I did. No. So that means I didn't put this there either? You just go ahead and put some. Yeah, you, you got some in here. Yeah. I did that one. I don't know if I did that one. Okay, go ahead and. That's why I should do one thing at a time. I'm telling you, I cannot walk with you both of This is more jalapeno peppers. This is the mammoth jalapeno pepper. I'm starting to form it, eh? <laughs> so don't mess with me about my jalapeno. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's go. Hey, I ain't got no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start that. Well, you start down here, I'm gonna start down here. Yeah.
actually I'm gonna put multiples in here because I just don't know how it's gonna do so yeah. I'm gonna give it something else to I don't know, but we'll see. No. <laughs> Alright y'all. Man. I don't know how them little old peppers gonna do. But we put like three or four of them itty bitty peppers in one spot. I just wanna see if they're gonna take off. If they do take off, I could always separate them and put them in a container, which is perfectly fine. I can grow them in containers. But I just want to give them a shot and see what will happen. Like I said, we don't have nothing to lose <laughs> for trying. You looking for peppers? None. They right here. They are right there. Okay. So we don't have anything to lose. So once we get those three little holes planted, we're going to take y'all over here into a shady spot so we can conclude, okay? He grabbed some more jalapenos. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Hey. Hey, a little 
love my peppers. I know you love your peppers. I, I love, didn't say nothing. I love my peppers. I know you do. This was the serranos right here, wasn't it? I think these were yeah. serranos. Mm -hmm. I forgot about these too, but I can wait on those. They burnt up. All right, y'all. Come with us to a shady location. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna bring this stuff over here to the other garden. Yeah, we can in a in a minute. I was thinking that maybe we could take a break. Okay. You get out of this sun for a second. Show, show them all of that? Sure. Let me see. Can y'all see all of it? Probably not, but I don't know if they can see all of it because you know I can't turn the camera around. They can see I might it. have to show it in another video. Okay. Do an update. But for now, we're going to get out the sun. We're going to get in some shade for a second. It done got hot out here. Where's our, where's our chairs at? We're going to sit here under the duck house, y'all. Where it's nice and cool. Listen to the turkeys communicate. You okay? Turkeys be okay. Yep. Whatever works, baby. My oh, lord, it's down. Yes. That wind is feeling good right here. That bucket stinks. That one, trust me, you don't want to sit on that. 
<laughs> Woo! You don't want to sit on that one. Okay, y'all. Hold on, y'all. We coming. Hey, babe. Yeah. What about that other bench right there? Like what we were sitting on the other day. That other bench right there. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, so this right here, this big old thing right here, let me start it from the tip. Ooh. This big old thing right here that I had to break off, this was our Moringa tree from last year. This was the second shortest of all of them. And I broke it off, and it still didn't break off at the base. I still got like a foot and a half of it sticking up at the raised bed, right? But remember I told y'all I wanted to test to see what would happen if I just left it in the ground all winter? And uh, as you could see, Moringa don't do good <laughs> when it's cold, right? So, this is the bark of it here. It's just peeling right off. And this thing is it breaks real easy so no this is definitely tropical subtropical even growing moringa so i am starting more moringa but i'm doing it in containers and that way in the winter time i can put it in the greenhouse but we had three moringa trees one is over 15 feet tall this one is about 12 feet right here if I add that other foot and a half to it this one is about 12 feet so they get pretty big if you just let them keep going but I think what we're gonna end up doing is cutting them off at about whew, is it straight cutting them off at about five feet tall it's straight cutting them off at five feet and that way whoo we didn't feel good <laughs> ooh, in this shade that feels good wind and the breeze and all of that you got your phone on you maybe i can see comments from your phone i don't know if i'm gonna be able to see them coming you should but let me take these off my knees Oh, they look tight. They hot. <laughs> oh, they hot. They hot. All that padding on the inside, they hot. <laughs> mm. But y'all, yeah. So we was just taking y'all with us while we did a little um a little planting, hoping that it would uh give you all a little bit of garden. I know it's crooked still, ain't I? I don't care what I'm trying. I'm trying to. <laughs> there we go. Woo. This feels good. Ugh, take my boots off. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that feels really great. The breeze, the breeze, the breeze. The breeze. Thank God for a breeze. <laughs> Come on, bud. Come on in the shade. What you still doing down there? <laughs> we left you. Come on, bud. You come up here with me. Come on, bud. Come on, you bud. There go the bud. There go the bud. Oh, okay, we are we there? Let's see. Let's find us. 
be able to see y'all comments from here. There you go. Oh man. Let's see here. Love notes. Suzette, Halal Family Homestead. Thank you to all of our wonderful moderators in the house. I'm gonna get you. You gonna go get my glasses? <laughs> you trying to be funny, Mr. H. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> yeah, Mr. H trying to be funny. Shame on you. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you to everybody who is um who is joining us today. I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's almost one o'clock. What? Oh man. Whew. Hi everybody. No, Kathy, we don't have anything to drink out here. <laughs> Not at the moment. Y'all, these herbs are looking so good, but I'm going to show y'all those herbs in another video. They are looking so good. Once I cleaned them all up and got all of the dead stems and everything from mixed all up in the mint and the lemon balm and the, um, the thyme, it all looks so good. And that lemon balm smells amazing. I can't wait to make some teas with that. I am so excited about that, y'all. Yes, ma'am, Melanie, you right. Whew. Time flies, Maria Morrison, that's right. Patricia says she loves Snowsers. We love our We love our Jackson, too. We really do. But I'm going to tell you, he's a miniature. If we had a giant with his attitude, <laughs> y'all don't know, Bud got some attitude on him. <laughs> he was fussing at me yesterday because I wouldn't let him do what he wanted to do. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna growl at me. I said, "Boy, you growling at me?" And then when I walked away, he was like, Arr. "I'm like, what?" <laughs> Ooh, Bud got some attitude. Growing with Hudson said they drunk enough water for the both of us. <laughs> Back to country. You just got through canning eight quarts of chicken. That's amazing. Canning season. Canning season is up on us, right? Because you know what? We start pulling everything out of the garden and it'd be time to pull those canners out. In the wintertime, y'all, is a good time to can the things that take the longest to can like your beans and uh, chicken and soups and stews, all those things that take whew, an hour and a half. Those are the good, those are the things, chili, all of that. Those are the things that are great to, to can in the wintertime, right? If you can, those are the things to plant in the wintertime. And in the summertime, you try to plant those things that don't take quite as long so it don't heat up your house so much, right? Or you can do it at night. It is hot out here, uh, Renita. It's very hot. Very hot. Steve, you're planting a thousand elderberry plants. What? What? And here I thought I was doing something with my little two. <laughs> with my two little elderberries thinking I was doing something. <laughs> you planted a thousand. Now that's awesome. This is going to be our first time planting elderberries and we're putting them in the food forest. Y'all have heard me talk about us starting a perennial food forest um, right on the other side of our Big Mama's Garden area. We're planting a food forest over there. We're going to be putting more uh, fruit trees in and those um, berries that come back like the older berries. We're planting some um, Pakistan mulberries over there. And we have a brand new Pakistan mulberry tree. It came in bare root and we put it, we put it in a container 
and it is growing and it already has mulberries on it. We're like, what in the world? But it's going in the ground because they get too big for a container, right? I think those plants could get, those trees could get up to what, 30 feet tall, some of them? So yeah. I know, Mary, he planting a thousand. He planting a thousand, that's a lot. You gonna have enough enough uh, elderberry to feed everybody from here to the moon. <laughs> Woo, but that's gonna be like a great income for you too, if that's what you're planning to do with it. Ow, that's gonna be a great income too. Yes, ma'am. I'll be able to see better with my glasses. Yeah, let me just wait on the glasses. <laughs> Here come Mr. H with his cool daddy walk. I've been telling him about that cool daddy walk. <laughs> I'm always teasing him about that walk of his. Where you going? <laughs> Mr. H, you need to quit. He a mess. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he a mess. <laughs> Thank you for my glasses. <laughs> you welcome, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I made it back, y'all. But we put in we put in a little work though, didn't we? We did. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was a good thing to uh get up early and... It's after one o'clock. Did you know that? What? Yes. I thought it was around about eleven o'clock. I did too. Man. It's after one o'clock. We've been out here that long. Because we had the super subs with us, you know. Time fly when you're having fun, you know. That's but what we they was say. out here before we started the video, though. Yeah. We was out here long before we started the video. But it's been really fun, you know. Yeah, we we always. Um, oh my goodness! One of our viewers is starting one thousand elderberry plants. Wow. One thousand elderberry, elderberry plants. That's great. Oh my goodness. Wow, 1,000. That's going to be a lot of elderberries. Are they going to um, sell any of the plants? I don't know. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Oh, he said these are only elderberry seeds. I will lose many to critters, he said. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, oh, okay. gotcha, gotcha. Man. So I understand now why you're starting so many. Yeah. Yeah, because um, actually I'm worried about the rabbits. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Hopefully, you know, our cats can keep them away. Yeah. Man. Oh, it feels so good out here. You still got a lot of more work to do, Mrs. H. What you are? Uh... I'm relaxing. Wow. I'm relaxed. I'm trying to see the comments, but it keeps disappearing. I guess I have to turn the screen this way in order for the comments yeah, to stay. Yeah, there you okay, go. Okay, there they go. Oh, man. Love from Alaska. Been watching for a while now. Hi, Julie. Maria Morrison says she's never had elderberry. We haven't either. We're going to be new to it. We just know the health benefits of it are amazing, right? So that's why we're going to be trying it for the first time this year. Uh, hi, LaShonda. I will certainly... Oh, she's talking to Miss Peaches. Miss Peaches, huh? Is Miss Peaches growing peach trees? I don't know. Oh, I forgot. I didn't see what she posted. Mm. Let me see. Back to country is freeze drying fruits and veggies. Dolores Grimes said, "What did you add to the holes before you planted?" Before we planted, yeah. Um, black cow. Um, was it feather meal? Mm -hmm. uh, Bone meal. Yeah, and um, azomite. Azomite. That was it. But we show you in the video, though. Yeah, it's all in the video. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's right, Steve. Elderberry is great for medical conditions as well. In fact, that was one of the things that was recommended to me when I was having some respiratory issues too. Wow. Araya, watching from Louisiana. Hi, Arlene. Blue, 
Melanie says their blueberry bushes are loaded this year. Oh, great. Yeah. Hey, David, Corey. Hi, bunny girl. Thank you. Samoan Thompson says, can you grow elderberries in containers or on a patio? Steve, can she grow them in a container on her patio? I know October Opal, we sure do. Hey, Aaron Secret. Elderberry syrup paid 30, I, uh, I, I wanna say, uh, I don't wanna say and get it wrong, I'm not gonna say. Woo, y'all, mulberry is going crazy fruity. What kind of mulberry do you have? We have an ever-bearing mulberry and a Pakistan mulberry. We got two different ones. The ever the um, ever-bearing mulberry, it's more bushed out, but it doesn't have any mulberries on it. The Pakistan mulberry only has a few leaves on it, <laughs> but it's got mulberries on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Queen One has two elderberries in containers. Not growing cherries yet. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. LaShonda, you make elderberry syrup every year and elderberry jam. I'm going to need that recipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that jam. Well, you love that, huh? Yes, I'm going to need both of them recipes. Oh, man. Having a uh, lemon water, we love that cucumber mint lemon water. That oh, yeah. is so refreshing, y'all. Oh, it is. That is so refreshing. That's right, Miss Peaches. Start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. Just start. Miss Peaches, are you the lady that I met at uh, the post office? Deborah McCray says, a quick note, let everyone know they can get fruit trees and vegetable seeds with their EBT. Yes, you can. Make sure you go into a supermarket though. You can't do that at like Home Depot, okay? You have to go to a place where they sell grocery. And when you go to a place that sells grocery, you can buy seeds, you can buy seed starts, and you can buy fruit trees because that's considered as food. And if you do get um, EBT benefits, you can use those to purchase what you need, okay? Yeah, yeah, I think Kroger's uh, sell. Yeah, Kroger's too. Uh, starts. Mm-hmm. Seeds. Yeah. Woo! Renita says her elderberry's in a big container outside. Hmm. It's still too cold. What happened? I was going to read Julian's comment in New Mexico, and my thing just went kind of crazy there. I lost it. I lost it. Okay. Hold on. Let me, uh, Zeke. Okay. Zeke, what you doing? Let me take you a Zeke right You better behave yourself, young man. You're not ready to my chain. Zeke be doing the most. <laughs> Lemon, strawberry, mint, cucumber is your favorite. Some more. Look, we got strawberries coming in the garden right now. I'm excited about them strawberries. Yes. I, look, if I didn't love strawberries so much, I would add them to my water. But when they come out of the garden, they go in the house. I chill them. And after they are nice and cold, I eat them. They are so good. I don't know if they would ever make it to my water. <laughs> it is hot, y'all. Miss Peaches, she says, yes, ma'am. It was such a pleasure to meet you. It really was a pleasure to meet you. I'm always happy to meet our viewers. I really am. I'm always happy to meet our viewers. We met. I met so many um, of our viewers at the 
as your standard drop a few weeks ago. I did a video on it, I think, but I don't know if I posted it. Oh, I did post it. The video that I haven't posted is the video where we went to the post office where I met Miss Peaches. <laughs> and some of you sent us some amazing things, y'all. Huh. We got some nice, nice gifts from y'all. Mr. H loves um, those chocolate covered espresso beans. Okay, rubber duckies, could y'all settle down? Don't start all that behind me. Be nice. So, Mr. H loves his chocolate covered espresso beans that came from um, Hoosier Hill Farm. Some, some, someone sent him that. They're, it's on the card, but someone sent him um, those chocolate covered espresso beans because he loves chocolate. <sighs> You have a terrible time with dear Maria? We did too. Our dogs has been doing a good job of keeping them away from our garden. Okay, let's see. J Dragon, I don't know. Um, if they are, because they don't say so. They don't say that the seeds are non-GMO on the packet. But um, the one thing I can say is that it is illegal for a retail place to sell any genetically modified seeds. They have to have a license for that, which is primarily given to big farmers not to your places like uh, Walmart, Kroger, Dollar General, Family Dollar. It's against the law for them to do that. Now, am I saying that they won't do it? You know how they like to be slick and do stuff, right? I don't know. But I can honestly say that no seeds that you buy out of the store should be genetically modified. Woo. Wow, Steve. You know what? That's that's one of the reasons why I'm looking forward to growing elderberry. That's a big tree that you got for Zeke, huh? Just take this $12 off. Cut that $12 off. Cut that tree just that quick, huh? Yeah. Mr. H is going to take our goat, this tree. Zeke likes oak. He likes oak. He's going to be so happy to see this. Look at him. He already coming. Let me show y'all Zeke. He already coming over there to Mr. H. Cause he's gonna be happy to get that tree from Mr. H. He's like, come on, Holmes. Bring it on in, bro. Bring it on in. That's my favorite. It's treat day for me. It's treat day for me. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. <laughs> you gonna leave it there, babe? Thank you, man. Thank you, man. That's why I like you, man. You cool, man. You cool. <laughs> Nina getting jealous, babe. I'm gonna have to get her one, right? Yep, because she getting jealous. Look at him. He already eating it up. Thank you, man. <laughs> you my favorite for a reason. You my favorite. <laughs> Zeke enjoying that. Yeah. Let me go get her one. You got to get Nina one. Hello, Raptor. Hello, the Adventure Garden. Raptor Ranch from Northern Wisconsin. Wow. Diana Kissinger, thank you so much for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in to us. Y'all just literally watching us do what we do. This is just what we do, y'all. <laughs> we don't be trying to make it all pretty. <laughs> we don't be trying to make it all pretty. It look like it look. <laughs> sometimes it look great, sometimes it don't. Sometimes the, the farm looks rough, you know? 
because sometimes you can get so busy and that you just don't have a time, time time to pull it all back together you know like you might want to but we just show you right because this is like real life this is this is the way it is sometimes things just don't look good and everything just ain't pretty and all of the crops just ain't growing well all the time sometimes things they just don't look healthy sometimes right but we just have to keep on going we have to keep the work going and remember the end goal is not to just have a beautiful looking farm but the end goal is to grow your groceries and sometimes the farm you know the um overall <laughs> aesthetics of everything might not be cute like we got fencing all over the place old fencing we got trees still down that we got to cut up right zeke what you doing man so we still got a lot to do we got weeds growing all back here looking all rough right this is what it is <laughs> and we'll get to it no mowgli Babe! Mowgli! Get out of here! No, man! What is up, Bobby? Got me running in my socks. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Now, I know we filming. <laughs> Okay. Mowgli was in the um in the potato patch again. She went underneath the fencing. So we got this cat Mowgli. We call her Mowgli because she was a jungle kitty. Uh, last year, one of our cats had kittens, and we thought we had them all. We thought we got them all, put them in a box, put them in the house, in the laundry room, so she'll have a place to be with her babies and be safe right but there was one that she forgot it was left in the bushes and that kitten literally fended for herself until she was old enough and when we saw her we was like that has to be her baby because she looks like of them right and so she was terrified of us she wouldn't come to us she ran from us you know all of that and now she don't stay away from me she's always under me now but Mowgli loves to get in our garden beds and she likes to use the bathroom in our raised beds. So we took some old fencing and rolled it across the top of the raised beds. And we <clears throat> put boards underneath to hold it up off the raised bed so that it don't press down on our crops or whatnot. And that little booger went underneath the fencing. She squeezed underneath the fencing to get under there to use the bathroom. So I had to run over there in my socks because I took my boots off. I had to run over there in my socks to run out of there. So for those of you who say, how do you keep the cats out of your raised bed garden? The best way we can. <laughs> it ain't easy. The best way we can. It is farm animal drama. <laughs> Woo. Love no say, just canned up the chicken broth from roasting a chicken. They're going in the fridge when they cool off because I'm going to use that soon. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, Mowgli in trouble. She not after the potatoes, Rose. She just want to use the bathroom. She likes to use the bathroom in the raised bed. Uh-huh. We don't need her kind of fertilizer. <laughs> Woo! Her fertilizer, we don't want that. We're going to burn up everything. They afraid of foil? Thank you, Renee. Suzio and also from Southern California. Okay. Yeah, these cats, they love, they love to use your raised beds as their own personal potty. But you all, yeah. Hopefully we were able to just show you all how we uh, plant things around here on the farm. We do it the same. We've been doing it this way um, since we've been gardening out here. And you all have seen the harvest that we've 
we've gotten, right? You've seen the harvest. You've seen the, you know, we use those, um, I think those are 17 gallon laundry totes that we purchased from um, the big box store for like six bucks, five or six bucks like that, you know, and we fill those up with bell pepper, onions, tomatoes, green beans. <laughs> You remember all them jalapeno, that big old bucket of jalapeno peppers that we harvested? So the way we plant works for us, okay? You have to find what works for you. But the way we plant, it works well for us. Um, we still have to go over and um, we have to go over and put the row covers over all of our brassicas because we do have a major problem with um, those cabbage moths they they literally were all over our crops last year because they kept getting in with the row covers when the wind would blow it would blow it up and and then there you have it if they find a way in they end there right so we did have a big problem with them last year but we still harvested a ton of um broccoli and cauliflower and uh cabbages we didn't get any brussels sprouts because all of my brussels sprouts died last year so I didn't have any Brussels sprouts. So this year I got um, a 50 foot row of Brussels sprouts planted, right? But that's not like 50 plants. <laughs> that's more like uh, 20, I think we got 23 in that 50 foot row, 23 plants, something like that. Because we do give them, you know, a good amount of spacing. So we got about 23 plants um, of Brussels sprouts, which is something that I'm looking forward to because that's one, <clears throat> that's one of my favorite vegetables is the Brussels sprouts so I'm excited about that but <clears throat> that's wonderful mom JR, uh, JRT that's wonderful that is wonderful so yeah, we hope that you found that helpful with us planting um, and showing you how, simp how simple it is the way that we do it, you know? And um, in case you missed it, when I explained why we don't mix all of our fertilizers together in one bucket to make it easier, it's just, <clears throat> it's just simply because the, um, Bone meal, the azomite is heavier than the feather meal. Sometimes it falls to the bottom and you don't get the balance that we are looking for, right? With the fertilizer. So we, I just prefer to do it so I can see what I'm putting in there and I'll know if I've added too much or not enough. So that's why we do it separate like that, right? And again, we order all of our, um, fertilizers and they are organic just plain fertilizers right and we ordered that from seven springs farm and they do a wonderful job of getting it to you quick if they got it in, in stock okay all right let's see thank you says who you for your super chat in one 17 gallon tote, I would only put one plant still. If you try to squeeze two like hot pepper plants in there, you might be able to get away with two hot pepper plants. But for a tomato, I wouldn't do more than one tomato in that plant because although it's seven, it's deep, it's still not very wide, okay? It's not very wide. It's deep, but not very wide. So I wouldn't, um, Put more than one tomato plant in there but for my pepper plants that i'm trying to that i'm going to be trying to overwinter that i'm putting in those containers i'm putting one plant per pot and that way you're hoping god willing that once you know the temperatures start to cool down a bit and it starts to get those freezing temps i'll be able to put it in our cattle panel greenhouse um, the plan is to run some lights i think uh some of you suggested the easiest way to keep the greenhouse warm in the winter is just to run some string lights up there. And I think, um, um, ain't Cheryl over at Cheryl's Organic Food Forest? I think that's what she does in her greenhouse as well. Zeke, what's wrong with you? Did I tell you not to do that? So, 
that's what she does as well and it works for her too so we're going to try that this year in our cattle panel greenhouse to see if it will keep the temperatures above freezing so that all of our plants and stuff can survive even tomatoes i'm going to put a tomato or two or three or four in there as well over winter right along with our uh, citrus now we overwinter our citrus trees because they're just not big enough to survive a serious winter here they got to be huge and i do mean big they not big enough for that yet so i'm gonna wait until they keep growing get bigger and bigger you need me what's what's up okay what is it for Oh, it's in the barn. Remember I was telling you right there? <clears throat> right here on this side. Yeah, when you go in the barn, I had saved a piece of it for the um, top of it. Yeah. So we got quail. We've been had them. <laughs> We've been had them. And uh, my son is a builder. He can, he can he can put together a lot of things. You know, he's not a professional carpenter, but I guess you know, like his folks, <laughs> give him a picture. He just put it together, and it works out. <laughs> so um, yeah, so he's making us a quail hutch that we saw from Cartoonix Corner. They built a quail hutch over there that I liked, and so I was telling them about it, and so they put it together for me yesterday, and uh, out of some wood that we had in the barn, they put it together for me, and it's nice. I like it. So we're going to get ready to put our quail in so we can start, um, you know, getting quail eggs and having quail, because that's an excellent source of protein as well. It wasn't a smaller one. Oh, yeah, I like it. You're not gonna cut it? You don't really have to. I know, I'm just saying I like it. Yeah, I would like to leave it like that. Huh? You still gonna put the braces on? Okay, appreciate it. So yeah. Thank you, Spice Urban Garden. Yeah, uh, Lori, they did sprinkle flour. I don't know what it was, but it was in, um, I think it was in her greenhouse. Is that my battery or his? Oh, that's my battery. So I think it was in her greenhouse. They sprinkled uh, some old flour down to keep the aphids away. And I've heard that before that it works because um, I had considered it for uh, my uh, sunflowers and also for my loofahs this year to put some around the base to kind of help control the aphids. And because uh, that's really where we have the biggest problem out of aphids is with our sunflowers and with our loofahs. Yeah. Mr. H is trying to find a, he's cutting down a, a, a big branch for Nina. Ooh, that breeze feels good. Ooh, wee. <sighs> that feels good. Wow. Maria, I'm going to show y'all the quail hutch once it's done. It's cute. And it's made out of the cheapest wood you can buy. You know those little, um, one by twos or something like that. One by twos. I think it's one by twos. But it's the cheapest wood you can buy in a bundle. And we just put it together with some wire. And that's all they need. <laughs> that's all they need. I did um, a video 
where I was talking about um, Azure Standard, how buying in bulk saves you money, I think it was the title. I don't know. But before I did that video, I had no idea what had happened to it, to uh, Azure or Azure. I don't know. I just say it. I say Azure. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I did a video talking about that. And actually, I'm about to do another video because the bags that we get from Azure, I don't throw those brown bags away. It's just brown bags, right? Big old brown bags, and I don't throw them away. And I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do with the rest of them because I got potatoes planted in my garden bed, all right? But I'm about to plant some more potatoes in those bags. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm about to plant some more in those bags because I can't put the potatoes in the raised uh, in the garden beds because of the ground cover so I had to put them in the raised bed Woo. oh spirit field thank you I'm glad we can motivate I'm glad we can help Stuart Henry, thank you so much. About to lose my hat. Bob in Missouri is gonna go work on the chicken coop made from pallets. You know what? I applaud that kind of patience. <laughs> I, I love seeing what people do with pallet wood, all of the different things that folks make out of the pallet wood, right? And then one day, when I got ready to try that, I'm like, I gotta take all these nails out. <laughs> but uh oh, -uh. I can't do it. I can't do it. But you all, Mr. H did get me some really good heat treated pallets um, from Tractor Supply. You know, Tractor Supply, if they got them, they'll give them to you for free. You just gotta come pick them up, right? So, um, and then, you know, like if you go through the pallets trying to get the best ones, don't just you know throw pallets everywhere and just leave them make sure you clean back up so they don't stop us from doing that right but we get some nice looking pallets and i'm gonna tell you all i'm making a raised carrot beds out of pallet wood and that's why i have them over there by my greenhouse in case anybody saw me was wondering i got them over there because i'm i'm literally just i'm not pulling nails out i'm just cutting alongside the nails and the size boards that I get, whatever size that is, that's the ones I'm using. But um, I'm making a raised carrot bed that I can put maybe closer to my greenhouse, a nice big long one, put it closer to my greenhouse so that I can control um, the weeds and all of that and, and cover it when I'm not using it. It'll be easy because it's not gonna be like a, um, a four foot wide or eight foot long bed, it's not gonna be that wide. It's probably going to be more along the lines of being two and a half feet wide. It's going to be very narrow, but I'm making a couple of them very long for the whole, for the sole purpose of having a carrot bed and uh, maybe an extra bed for some turnips or something like that or rutabagas. And that way, the only thing that's going to cost me is a couple of screws, but that's it. A couple of screws and I'm going to use some old ground cover on the bottom to keep the weeds from coming up. But it's going to be the wood that I got for free that I'm using to make the, that raised bed. And you can, if you decide to do that, you can make it as large or as small as you like it. But the wood itself is free. Yes, the, our, the pallets that we got are hardwood. That's right. Julie got five containers of potatoes planted. That's awesome. Rose, now, I planted the whole potato. You don't have to. If you have multiple eyes, you know you can cut that potato. Just make sure you got an eye on whatever size you cut and make sure they both have an eye on them. And then you want to allow them to what I call ashing over. <laughs> you back, Miss Sage? See, yes. you need to come sit down. You done worked hard for Nina and Zeke. Yeah, I had to do a little cutting here. Mm -hmm. 
so and then once they do that because you don't want to put them in the ground with all that starch still coming from that side of the cup potato and then it just starts to rot in the ground so but you can do that if you want to but I just didn't do that this time. I've done it before, but I didn't do it this time. I just put the whole potato down in the ground so I could keep it moving because I got a lot to plant. <laughs> so I just put the whole potato in there and kept on going, right? And what I did was I dug out a nice little trench here and uh, in my raised bed and I put down some uh, feather meal, some bone meal and some azomite and um, black cow, like, like just like we did in the garden. But I put the whole, I put it down in the trench and just kind of fluffed it in a bit and uh, put my potato right in it and covered it up. And what I'm going to do today is it's time for me to clean out my goat pen over where Nina is. I'm going to pull all of that hay out of there. It's got poop and everything on it. And I'm going to put it all right on top of my potato bed. Now, goat manure will not burn your crops. So I'm not concerned about the manure being all over the, uh, the hay and all of that. I'm not worried about that. The hay does not have any uh, harmful chemicals sprayed into it or nothing like that. Came from a local farmer. He didn't do all of that stuff. He pretty much raises the hay. Bless you. Let me go raises the hay. Rinse this off. Okay. So that he could um, feed his, his animals. That's it. So we get our hay from him as a mulch hay. And we use that in our animal uh, pens for bedding. But I'm taking that out because we reuse all of it, right? It doesn't go to waste. So we take it all out and it comes out as fertilizer, compost, as we allow it to break down. So we keep getting multiple uses out of it, right? So that's gonna cover my potato bed. I'm gonna just pack it all on, right? And it's covered with manure and I might even add a little extra of the um, uh, bone meal and the feather meal to it just to kind of enrich it even more to make those potatoes just go crazy, right? And we are growing a uh, Utah, Utah. <laughs> we're growing Yukon Gold and the uh, Adirondack Blues is what we're growing. And they're both determinate to, uh, potatoes as well, you all. They're both determinate potatoes. So they're not gonna just keep on growing. That's not how it works. Once they start putting potatoes on, that's it, right? They're not just gonna keep growing and growing and then you keep piling more and more soil on top and they just keep growing and growing. Those are not um, indeterminate potatoes. They are determinate. So they're gonna stop at a certain point of producing those potatoes. Okay, let's see what I missed. MW says went shopping two hours ago and you're still here. <laughs> Sitting there eating some blueberry pancakes and bananas. Oh, why are you doing me like that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much for coming back in. <laughs> Maria potatoes are heavy feeders. So all that we give them, they're gonna love it, okay? They gonna absolutely love it. Thank you, Mary Littleton. Thank you so much. Love Notes say the whole potato will give you bigger ones. I keep telling y'all, Love Notes, why you want to start a channel? I'm going to call you out every time. Show sure you. <laughs> yes, Maria, rabbit, rabbit manure is awesome as well. Woo! Leon Buckets. I've seen Mr. Leon do his um his buckets. I forgot what they call, but I've seen him do it. I think they're self-watering or self-wicking or something. Okay, Michelle. Wow, that's awesome. We gotta be creative. Thank you, Dolores. Thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you. Whew. Thank you, Daisy girl. Really, Patricia? What?
Well, the bag that I'm doing for the potatoes, uh, Diana, you'll be able to use that same the same method that I'm going to show you in the bag that I'm going to put them in. Um, Miss H is over there watering. I'm going to put them inside of one of the uh, Azure Standard brown bags that we order our food in, that they come in. And once we take the, uh, the food out of the bags, I keep the bags because I can use them to grow in. They're like grow bags. Why throw them away? They're excellent for that, right? Just punch some holes in the bottom. They are excellent for growing in. Makes an excellent little, little grow bag itself. Yeah. Tires. Um, Bobby, Missouri, we grew watermelon in tires. And a lot of people say, don't grow in tires. That's toxic, right? <laughs> and I know it does take a long time for the chemicals and whatnot in tires to kind of like leach into your food. But our, um, our watermelon patch did excellent that year when we grew in tires. But we decided not to grow in them anymore. And we decided to start growing them in grow bags. We did that last year and we used some hay that we got from, I mean, some uh, wheat straw that we got from Ace Hardware. And we used that as a mulch over the grow bags and it killed every single watermelon that we had. And we believe they were sprayed with chemicals and it killed our entire watermelon patch. So this year, our watermelon patch is going in the ground, underground cover. Our sweet potatoes, heavy feeders. Our sweet potatoes, heavy feeders. This is going to be our first year growing sweet potatoes. I know I'm about to trip some of y'all out when I say this. We don't eat sweet potatoes. Ain't y'all from the south? Uh-huh. <laughs> we don't eat sweet potatoes. But we growing them this year. So if we don't eat them, why are we growing them? Because they are a great uh, food source for our dogs. And <coughs> Mr. H got some sweet potato slips. I think he got two six packs for like a couple of bucks. So he bought them. I'm like, yeah, let's get those because we can, um, we can um, grow those cut those up into little squares and preserve them and use them as another source of um, a food source for our dogs because we're trying to find ways to feed our animals so that we're just not totally dependent upon these stores, right? Because feed is going up. In fact, the price of feed, chicken feed and all of that went up again. We went to the, the tractor supply to get some feed for our turkeys and that bag was 20 seven dollars yeah that's not what we used to pay for that and i know it because i keep my receipts so we're trying to find other ways to supplement their feed without having to spend so much money on feed and i'm gonna tell y'all something when my great-grandparents had animals and chickens and and turkeys and all of that they were not buying pellets okay they were not going to a feed store buying pellets they were feeding them the scraps from whatever they had. And they still was getting plenty of eggs, right? The animals still was thriving and all of that. Pellets was not something that they used then. That's fairly new. So we're trying to find a way to get back to doing what Big Mama and Muddy and them used to do because it worked for them. And with these food prices being what they are, we need it to work for us too. So we got to figure something out because we can't, we can't keep, if the prices are going to keep going up like they are, we can't afford that. We just can't. So we're trying to look into making food for our dogs from from what we can, from what we have here. Woo. Thank you, Sharon. Mountain lioness is in the house. Cannon chicken thighs. 
It is a lovely day in Georgia. The wind is blowing. <laughs> Got a cool breeze. <laughs> oh boy. They throw them in the dumpster, Cindy. Yeah, we use them pallets. Those pallets gonna come in handy for little things like what I'm doing here. Thank you, Love Notes. That wind is really blowing. Y'all see that? Oh, that's awesome, Anna. I love being creative, like finding a way to not have to spend so much money. What do you mean, Julie? Like on chicken feed? Like, like, what do you mean? Because right now we still buy pellets. And I think I'm going to get back to soaking pellets and stuff like I used to, because I was soaking them to stretch the feed and I stopped doing that. But I think because of prices, I am going to go back to soaking the feed because it makes it, um, it, it makes it stretch further. But also it makes easy access to the protein that's inside of the pellet. So that might fill them up a lot faster than just eating dry pellets. So I think I'm going to get back to um, fermenting their feed like I used to. Okay. All right, y'all. So what I think I'm going to do is end the video because my phone is down to, looks like it's down to like 8% or something. So I don't want this to, um, herb beds with pallets. That sounds awesome, Suzette. Hi, Kim. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think that's gonna do it y'all because I, I my screen is dark i can't even see myself no more <laughs> so i think we're gonna go ahead and end this live now i hope you all got some motivation and some inspiration from watching us plant from the early morning into the heat of the afternoon and uh yeah i think uh, we have a little bit more to do in the big garden but we're gonna you know we're gonna take it easy out here it's not as hot as it could be so we're gonna take it easy out here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my sweet wormwood in the raised bed down there because it's time. But y'all, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna put my, my device on the charger because I did wanna show you all how I'm gonna plant the potatoes in that grow bag, okay? But thank y'all so much for joining us. Mr. H, I'm finna end. I'm finna end, the, I'm about to end the live. Okay. I know you're busy watering, so I'm about to end the live because my phone is about to go. Yes, everybody, get motivated to grow your grocery, y'all. We got to grow like we ain't never grow before. We got to grow like it ain't going to be no food in that stove. Yes. <laughs> but y'all, my phone about to die. That's why I look like that. Okay. Yeah, but um, thank y'all so much for joining us today. And hopefully this helped you. And hopefully this will help you to help yourself and help others, too, to start growing some food. All right? So that's going to do it, you all. Thank y'all so much for joining us here at Homestead Heart. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, it's been a very exciting day, right? It has been exciting. I'm so glad to get the crops in. Yeah, yeah. We got a lot done today. Yeah. With the help of our super subs. Yes. So, so I'd like to thank y'all. Peace out. Falling off the bone, love notes. See you showing out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching us here at Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Peace. We're going to see y'all in the next one. Next video. Now I got to see Peace. if I can see to turn it off because the whole screen is dark. I can't even see the X on here. Can you even see the X? Let me see. I can't even see the X. We might just have to turn it. The... I don't know if that works. Man. You can't see it. Let me see. I can't see it. <laughs> I don't know if it's still on or not. Yeah, it's still I can't on. Turn it off. I can't see the screen. That's okay. what I get for letting the battery go down like that.
No, you just tap in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This pitiful babe is terrible. Let me see. Wait a minute. It's still on. Yeah, it's still on. It's still recording us. Yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> <laughs> It don't want to let us it go. It don't want to let us go. <laughs> That's a shame. I can't see this so crazy thing. Yeah. Wait, still... wait, wait. Let me see something here. Hold on. Okay, wait. This sideways. See that? This... I'm still on there? You still on there. Oh, they can still see yeah, us. We still can see you, Mr. H. <laughs> you guys can't leave. We won't, we won't let me turn it off. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, babe. I you can't turn it leave. off. <laughs> I can't see. Hold on, let me see it. Let me see it. Hold that. Let me this see. This is insane. <laughs> you can't.